Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with the next step of the Little Golden Books journey that we're on. And um, that is going to be sewing in elements on um, in the signatures before I sew the signatures into the book. So um, I thought I would just turn on the camera and while I'm doing this, we will kind of just do it together. Um, it looks like the sewing machine's in a pretty good position. It's going to be a little harder to, sh well, you know what we'll do, we'll just swing one end and that will work. So first one that we are going to do is this little summer vacation book and um, I am just going to put the book and the leftover scraps. I'm just going to kind of set it aside over here. And I've got my signatures here. What I'm going to put in is I'm going to put a flip, a lengthways belly band, a pocket, and a sideways belly band. So I'm going to put two in each signature. So the first signature, I think we'll do the flip. And for all of my books, I've already picked out all of my um, all of my fabrics and kind of got them lined up so that I can just sew. First, so then we need to kind of figure out where we're going to put that put this in the book. And um, what I normally do is. I think I'm going to just put it right here. And what I normally do then is sort of offset the pages like this. And I'll just set the rest of it aside. And um, and then I'll put, I'll put the flip on one side. And then I'll put the belly band on the other side. And then in the second signature, we'll put the pocket in the belly band. So that um, they're a bit... Uh, if you put them on the same page of your signature, then it will separate them a bit in your book. So I just have this on zigzag, and we're just going to get going. Um, so this one's layered with a couple. It's a first of all, it's a bit of a patchwork quilt, a little piece of it, and um, and then I've got some other fabrics layered on top and so we're just gonna attach this right on and just go right over this eclectic elements came from a ribbon that was uh, it was holding some Tim Holtz uh, fat quarters together and so I just thought it was fun so I just grabbed it for this one so it's going to be kind of simple as that, but we're just going to go through and do the books, all the books. And it's, um, so I mean, part of my, part of my doing this with you guys was to try and show you how I try to be efficient if I'm, you know, if I have several of one type of book to make. So what I'm going to do for the belly band on this one is this is a uh, feed sack fabric pieces that I've kind of made a snippet trim with. And so um, I am just going to go whichever way this seems to fit the best. Let's try them both. Yep, like that better. I'm not then cutting through one of the elements. So I'm just going to cut this here. I'm hoping to get two books, two of the books out of this one snippet trim. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put that right there. Bring back the sewing machine. Make sure I'm in so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to go in and um, just going to sew this on to the top and the bottom as a belly band. And when I'm putting in these elements, I do um, reverse stitch just because 
things will be going in and out of these. I want them to be strong. So I do kind of tie them off that way with a, with a back stitch. Okay, and we'll do the other side here. And make sure that's straight on the page. Okay. So when I picked out course the papers and then the fabrics for these books they're all starting to take on a bit of their own personality which is so much fun <laughs> so okay so this one is going to go here so if it makes more sense than to say you see how there's this one and then we have a bunch of pages till we get to the next one um, because we put them on the same page and they'll go on the signature that way. I hope for beginners that makes sense. That's how I try to spread the elements out through the book. So now we're going to do this one. And I'll just see where there's a, one of the plain papers, which is kind of right here. So... The other thing I try to look at is what's on the pages that are going to be um, on the other side of it. I'm going to use this little piece of patchwork for a pocket here. So I like the colors with, with that page, so that's good. And I think this page will be just great too. So let's do that one. I'll offset this and set it aside. And I'm going to do my pocket first, then my belly band, because if I do my belly band first, it'll be kind of just like almost right after the other belly band. So I'm going to trim that slightly. It's got a little, little funny spot there. Okay. So swing the sewing machine back around. And we'll do the pocket and just because this is as cute as it is I'm not going to do any sort of um, embellishing on this just because it's it's fun to look at as is with all the different fabrics okay so this is uh, definitely an imperfect pocket because the little quilted piece is not necessarily perfectly square so that's okay though we'll just adjust when we tuck things into this one and again as I've said along this journey of little golden books I really try not to over embellish um, these books because I want you to be able to just have a jumping off spot um, and make it your own and put in your own papers, your own fabrics and, um, and decorate this however you want. So, but I do like to have a few elements already done. Oh goodness. What are we doing? Well, of course, you know, I can't do a video without having an issue. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's happening with my sewing machine here, but it's not happy. We've got extra threads happening and who knows what. So, okay, so there's that. I think this just came undone, which happens a lot too much I mean I really like this sewing machine but it's just I feel it's a design flaw in how they have the bobbin because the as I'm sewing along the so 
sometimes the bobbin just um, the thread just comes loose there and so then it's not happy <laughs> and it tells me but and I'm almost out of bobbin thread so that's not helping the situation too much so that's all right we're good we're back in business okay and then we are going to do a sideways belly band on this other page so let's try this fabric one way and another and see do we like it like I don't like how it's right in the middle of that word so maybe not yep it's gonna go better this way so I think what I'm gonna do is go straight up this square point to point like that yes I have enough for the other book that I wanted to one of the other books I wanted to use that very same snippet trim so okay so yep we're in three. all right so then we'll just attach this the other side and we'll be done with one book so the t part that takes me the longest is deciding what fabrics I want because I have I have many to choose from first of all and you know it's just kind of listening to the book and where where it's going Looking at the colors of the papers you have in the book and that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, so that took me a little while this morning to get organized enough to start sewing. <laughs> but this is perfect because I can just sew them all and you guys can see what I'm doing and see what colors are going to be in what book and that kind of stuff. So that's cute. Okay, so this one then, the second one, has the pocket here and then the other side, wherever, wherever it went to, there it is, has an up and down belly band. And I really like those colors with that page too. So it all worked just great. So summer vacation, the sewing part of summer vacation is done. At least sewing on the pages because that is um that's all the sewing i'm gonna do for those let's see let's do let's do paper dolls and i will <laughs> i will tell you about all my trials and tribulations with this book holy buckets um so let's see let's just pull out the signatures um this goes there okay and um, we'll start on that. So this book, oh my gosh, I the the little pages from the book. There's only uh, three, so there's six page sides in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's twelve page sides, but there's just three pages like this. Well, I had to reinforce them big time because this book is from 1951. And it was, the papers are real brittle. So, um, you know, if you touched them practically, they'd fall apart. So I really had to, really had to work on these pages. It was kind of, a, yeah, kind of crazy. So maybe we'll do right here across from this little paper doll. Um, yeah. So it was it was kind of kind of a trial this morning to to get those pages situated. So 
So here is the flip, and I'm using some of this fun fabric that has little clothes on it. And just doing kind of a fabric collage at the top. Um, yeah, so this book has taken me quite a bit longer than the other books, but it, it just, it needed some tender loving care for sure. So that's all right. We got it. So, um, I'm going to need to do a couple of rows on this cause I want it to attach at the top, but I moved this down a bit so that you could see the clothes. So, ah, there it goes again, guys. I'm sorry. I might have to take a minute and rewind the bobbin. The bobbin is not happy. Okay. Let's see what's going on with it. Yeah, it's almost out anyway. I think that's the problem. So, we'll just take a minute and fill it up. That's, you know, that's the deal. When we are crafting with me, it's the whole process. It's not just the happy parts. <laughs> We're not, it's tried and true here. Nothing's edited. <laughs> So I'm really happy with how this book is coming together, but I did add some extra elements because there wasn't as many book pages as the other books. So hopefully it will, it will be good. Um, but yeah, I, I had no idea how brittle and unhappy the pages were going to be. So we'll get this red and um, so there's three books that I'm going to do with red thread and three and two books that I'm going to do with pink thread. So I'll be um, switching out here in a little bit, but that's okay. This goes pretty quickly. If you can get it into the, as I said, the not great design of the bobbin. If anybody from Singer is watching. I I have an idea for an improvement. <laughs> oh, but you know it could be operator too. I do agree with that. And my friend Shanna said I sew too fast, and I I get that. But you know I just want to get it done. So ah, uh, so fast. Okay. Okay, I think it's going to be much happier. I think the, the bobbin was just too low and it was easily coming unhooked then. So, okay, so starting again, let's do this one more time. Kind of straighten this out a little bit. Listen to that just humming along like it's just happy as can be. <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of rethinking that. You know what I think I'm going to do instead of sewing two lines is I think I'm just going to fabric tack that little blue fabric down a little bit. I don't know if there's enough in this bottle, but let's try it. Maybe so. Maybe so. Just right along the edge. Yep. Perfect. That'll work. I'm just going to then flip that back over and that will be attached. Oh, I guess the red's not attached either. Let's do it. Perfect. Tuck that up in there. Oop, I want it over a little bit because I want, want the little clothes to show. Hope I'm in camera doing all this. Oops. There goes my fabric tack making a bubble. 
Okay, but that was good. That's I didn't really want to do two lines of sewing there, so that's perfect. That'll be great. Okay, so then the other side of this one, I decided I wanted to use this fabric for this fabric for the belly band. And I may come back and embellish this somehow, but I didn't have an idea right off the bat, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit with that for a little bit. We'll just put the belly band on and you know, and I can do that later if something comes to me. Oh, there you go, going too fast again. Okay, okay. Goodness. Yep. The other thing is my table's old and my sewing machine bounces on it, so that doesn't help the situation either. Hmm. So. Yeah. Just not happy. Stay down in there, please. Okay, and then this. I hope it's reassuring that I have all these defugalties because <laughs> it annoys the heck out of me. <laughs> oh, but you know, sometimes I sew along with no problem whatsoever and, um, you know, I swear some of it has to do with turning on the camera. It's, I don't know that it's Murphy's Law, but it's somebody's law. You turn on the camera and whatever can go wrong will. Okay, I'm going slow. Everybody's happy. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, okay. So, there is that one. And that is going to go in the signature right here. So, that's going to be it's going to be a cute page, I think. Okay, and then on the other side, we've got that, and we'll tuck something happy and bright in there. Okay, so there is number one. Number two, I think we'll do right here. And again, we're going to do the pocket first. And what I want to do with the pocket, I'm using again that cute little clothing fabric, but. Um, I'm going to put this rickrack. I'm not going across the top so I can actually do it while I put the pocket on. So hang on, let me get it lined up. There was just a little bit of blank space right there. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to put some happy red rickrack there. And um, it'll make the pocket a little skinnier, but that's okay. I don't think that's going to matter that much. We can still fit a nice size tag in there, so it'll be good. This is me using great restraint and going slowly. <laughs> I think you're right, Shanna. If I go too fast, well, definitely the machine bounces more if I go too fast. So I'm sure she's right because my friend Shanna is a quilter and she knows what she's talking about. Which. 
Okay, so let's do the Crossways one. And we'll be two books down, three to go. Okay, so we're just going to go sideways on this guy. I'm going to kind of um, center it on the page a little bit. And again, I may put something in the kind of cream colored area there, like a word or something, but I can fabric tack that on once I come up with an idea that's speaking to me. Oh, okay, we're off again. Jeez, I'm telling you, this is ridiculous. I'm not sure why it's doing this so badly today. I'm coming off. It's unwinding the correct way, so that can't be the issue. But it's driving me crazy, people. It's driving me crazy. But I'm not willing to not do this video just because it keeps goobering up on me. Ugh. So. Well, that's wonky little stitching, but you know, I maybe put something over it or, you know, I'm, I'm okay with wonky stitching. I mean, it gives it its own kind of silly little personality to do that too, but. Okay. I don't know if you can tell me what was different that time than the last time love to know. I don't know. It just keeps coming off the bobbin, but now it seems happy, which is good. Okay. So we are done with that one. So basically done with two of them. Okay. So let's put that one in and see what we've kind of what we've got. Okay. Got that little one. Of course, I'm completely, um, completely intimidated by this little book, anyways, because the gal who has spoken for this one is a great journal maker, and she does absolutely gorgeous work. Much more precise and lovely than what I do. So. <laughs> Like, oh boy. But anyway, I, I hope she'll like it. Okay, so now this one is Dr. Dan. And we're just going to take things apart here. And go for first. First one, I think we're going to go right here. I want to be... Yep, I think on this page right here. So, put that over there. Let's do the flip. And this flip, um, I'm just, I'm using a strip of that ruler fabric. And I'm using a little piece from the cover. But that's it because I love this fabric and I want it all to show. So, let's hope the sewing machine cooperates here and get this attached on and i think i'm going to go just below the numbers here just for fun Going slow drives me crazy, people. <laughs> uh, I've told you before, patience is not one of my virtues. <laughs> okay, so there's the flip on this one. Scooch you over, machine, so that we can um, figure out 
figure out our belly band here. Let's see. Now this time, I think we could go on the other side of that. Maybe let's see what we do from up here. Actually, that's better. So let's just cut right on the side of the crown. And I think we'll be good. Just gonna go straight like that. Okay. Oops. Let's see. How are we? Good. Okay. And we'll just do this one. So we were supposed to go out of town this weekend. If you watched my last video, I said I wasn't going to be making any videos for a while because we were going to go watch our granddaughters play basketball at Hoop Fest in Spokane, Washington. Well, we weren't able to go. My husband hurt his back gardening. So I was kind of teasing him that he's a overzealous retiree. <laughs> So he got busy out in the yard and shoot, he hurt his back. So that was going to be a long, it's a long, I mean, it's five and a half hours there. So it was going to be a long time in the car and then a lot of walking. So not great with the bad back. So we didn't go. So, you know, that was a bummer. But at the same time, it gave me an extra two days in my craft room that I was not counting on. So that's kind of fun. So I'll be able to today and tomorrow get a little more done on these journals than I thought I was going to. So, so that's good. Oops, upside down. That's not going to work. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, we're going to put this in here and see what that looks like. Okay, so the flip. I like how the yellow and orange picks up that shirt. That's awesome. And then this one's just a bunch of random colors, which this page is too. So I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, so then this side, we're going to do somewhere here. What do we want to do there? What do we want to do here? I kind of like it there. All right, so let's do then the pocket, which again, I'm just going to do the pocket with just the bare fabric, no trim, no nothing, because I love this Candyland or not really Candyland, I don't know, Dick and Jane fabric. It's so cute. I'm almost out of it. Which is why I think, honestly, when we have something we love like that, I think that's what enables our craft hoarding. <laughs> I really do because it's like, oh, I'm almost out of this. And so, you know, but then at the same time, when I go to the fabric store and find a fabric I like, I try to just buy a half a yard because that's plenty for normally for several journals and then I, I find more fabric that I like anyway but then like this one I'm wishing I had two more yards of you know so yeah it doesn't help the tendency to want to hoard your craft supplies or buy too much or whatever so But I'm sure there'll be another that I'll fall in love with too. I've had this fabric forever. Um, I've had it since I was I was making purses and wallets and stuff, and um, I was making little wallets with it, and they were so cute with the little Dick and Jane pictures. Okay, so let's figure out how we're gonna do this. Kind of like the butterfly. What are we? We're, 
We're in the Dr. Dan. Yeah, it just works better to go this way, doesn't it? Okay. All right, I'm just going to, where am I going to cut? Maybe just right about there. Okay, and I still have a piece with which to play at some other time. So, that's awesome. I need to make some more of those. Those were fun. And I think I have more of the little squares of seed sack fabric, so I sure could. Just have to make time to do it. I am using snippet trims in um, the children's garden uh, garden of verses one because that gal wanted shabby chic I think I told you last time and so um, I'm using one of my normal snippet trims for that I'm just using the Um, feed sack for these two and then I'll use that for that and then I have something else for the other one. Oh, that's cute. I like it. It's not go through, but... Okay, perfect. My sewing machine seems to have well, I may have spoken too soon. I was going to say it seems like it's kind of settled down from going awry, but now it's kind of feeling like it's stuck. What is the deal? Gosh. Okay, so then let's see how this looks. So, pocket on this side, that's cute, and belly band on that side, that's cute, awesome. Okay, Dr. Dan is ready to roll here, and so where are we? So we just have the pink ones left. So, how are we doing time-wise? Great, okay. So I am going to do Toodle first, but we have to change out our thread and our um, bobbin. So I'll do that real fast. Good, we have a full bobbin of pink, so don't have to take time doing that. in there and take off the red that was some red thread that I got when did I get that state sale mm, antique store or something thrift store I'm not sure so maybe it's kind of the thread too I don't know Okay, almost ready to rock here. Once I thread the needle, which is always sort of interesting too. There we go. Oops. Gotta go at it straight. Okay, there we go. Okay, so on Toodle, let's take things apart here. Ugh. Okay, so fabric and extras and the book cover can go over here. So let's see. First signature, I was thinking of right here. For the flip and stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't have a sideways belly band on this one. I was going to see if there was something left. I might end up 
using that other bit of feed sack on this one. So anyway, I'll pull off this little threads. And um, so I just did a little fabric collage and I used some of the fabric that was on the cover and some more of that little measuring or ruler sort of stuff and then some uh, Rick Rick. So let's, okay. And so I got a little bit of thickness there to go through. I'm gonna push that up a little bit. There we go, I think we're, I think we're pretty good there, okay. get myself up on my rick rack a little more. Right, so there's that, and then the belly band on this one. I'm using some of this um, fun little things that I made. Uh, I think I want to go up here because I have to cut off a little bit, and I would like I would like the all the words so. Just get rid of that, and then this is going to be the belly band on this one. So we'll just go here. And then the bottom. I'm misplacing my scissors all the time. If I put them in the same place twice, it'd probably be helpful. Jeez. Okay, so then this one. I guess I'll do this. I'm going to just have to feed the little banner, make sure it goes under the foot when we get there. So I'm going to just flip it up and put it the foot back down on it. There we got it. Okay. All right, all right. So then all we have before we sew it into the cover on these is I want to do a little bit of stamping I think which I probably will not do a video on because you guys all know how to stamp <laughs> so there is the flip there is the belly band so like I'd like to do a little stamping on those pages okay so that's first one Second one, I guess maybe we'll go right here, this one, and um, this pocket, I have a little collage and a little, um, some little embroidered flowers I wanted to put on there, so I'm going to sew that on first before I sew the pocket onto the paper. Okay. 
okay that's great yeah this is cute okay so then we will put that pocket on here that one up so I don't catch it in the stitching. got then the um, pocket on there and so I think we'll have enough of that one snippet to do the uh, crossways belly band let's see how's it looking Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this. That's a, little, that's a little snippet for another time. And go, then we'll just go corner to corner on this guy. Now I just have a snippet of a snippet. <laughs> Oh, you know, it's kind of like, no matter what you do, you end up with scraps. You try so hard to use them up, but, you know. Okay, so then this one, we're going to just go right here. side and then we're down to the last one and it's the shabby chic one so I saved it for last because as I told you it's going to be end up being a little bit of a souped up version and so just because of her request Progress is such a wonderful thing. All right. So let's see what that one looks like in here. Okay, so that page that page great all right so first and second signatures of toodle and he goes over here and the last one is the children's garden of verses and i'm going to use this snippet trim on it so like i said it's a little souped up and i've got got these laid out too so um once again, we'll get rid of the cover and everything and start off here with the first signature. This one, there wasn't as many of these decorative papers, which was okay because they're heavy cardstock. And so I went to my digitals and got some digitals to, to do too. So I may put things... Um, in different a little different spots on this one. So for this one, this is going to be the flip and I'm going to put 
this beautiful trim I got from Renee at GT Designs. She sent me that in some happy mail. So sweet of her. But, um, yeah, so I got to kind of see where is that going to, you know, look the best. That's cute. Could be, could be. Oh, I think I was thinking of putting it right there. I was. That's where I was thinking of putting it. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Because I would like to have it, if possible, on the heavier card stock. Just because probably me but I think it holds a little bit better okay so we're gonna go there I don't know why I keep looking to see if I'm in camera I put the sewing machine basically in the same spot every time and every time I look it's in camera so about the time I don't look is probably when it won't be okay so let's put that under we're just gonna Kind of catch the top of this applique thing or trim or whatever. So pretty. Got a little bit. The fabric is wanting to fold on me a little bit there. Alright, so there's that one. And okay, so now we need to work on the on the belly band a little bit to see which which end of this we want to do. If we want to do that. Do we want to do this? I think I'm preferring this. Okay, yep, I can go right under. It's so weird how that works out sometimes, so where you can just cut at the very end of something. That was that's gonna be hard to sew through. I've had a little bit of fabric tack on it, this little braid thing. But I think we can do it. I'll see how it goes. Okay, so we'll get this positioned sort of midway and I'm really having to kind of push and pull this through because it's thick with that crocheted flower right there. But usually once you've sewn it down a little bit, it squashes it and it's a little easier to do. So, but you see why I'd rather have it on the heavier card stock than say the coffee dyed paper or something because it does hold it better. Okay, keep your fingers crossed that we can get through this braid. Okay. happily but <laughs> and you guys I I often get asked how often I um, how, how often I change my needle I'm horrible about that and um, so basically I change it if I break it <laughs> probably should change it more often than that but I don't I don't Okay, so that's going to be the flip page. Super cute. I think I'm going to cut off a little bit of that trim. It just kind of went over the edge there a little bit. I probably moved it when I sewed it. I don't know. Oh, 
Jeez, that is thick. It doesn't want to cut. There, we got it. Okay. Let's see what the other side looks like. Oh my gosh. Super cute. I love that. Love that with the little girl in her shadow. <gasps> okay. So, that is signature one. Signature two... I am going to go with, once again, the cardstock. Just think it's a good idea. So, what I've got... Okay, I'm going to need to sew this again. So, what I've got for this pocket is a cute little square material. And then I used some from the, um, from the cover. And then I'm just putting these rosettes on there. So we'll just sew those on first. Sew those on first and then we can put the pocket on. All right, so this one, there we go. I've got strings everywhere. Um, maybe give it a little space there. Maybe right about there. So it's going to have to be kind of a long skinny tag that goes in here. But maybe some extra journaling paper or something like that. this little piece of fabric wasn't that big but I loved it and I thought it went with this book so I picked it for the pocket okay I'm going to try and sew as much under this fabric collage part as I can. Yep. Success. Okay. Got that. Then gosh, I'm going to have to go check the time after I get this done because I need to make a meatloaf tonight. And need to get it in the oven. Okay, so now we're going to see, do we want this side ends up right on that button? Or do we want this side? This side is better. I'm going to go right here. Yep. And then what I'm going to do is turn this around. Since there's no up or down, that works, right? Okay, so let's sew this guy on here. Get that sewn on there. And then I will go start this video uploading and go make my meatloaf. How does that sound? <laughs> husband is a fan of my meatloaf. I make it just like my mom did. And it is pretty good, I have to say. Okay. And go with this side. Thing is, is when it's super thick, you really do need to go slow. <laughs> so. Alrighty, you guys, we did it. We got all the sewing done on the little golden books. Awesome! So excited. So let's see what this one looks like in its spot. Let's see, I got a few more threads to cut here. I feel like. Yep. Okay, so let's see what this one looks like. 
this one, as I recall, had book pages on both sides. So, there's this one. I might put a little washi right down there, I think. I don't know. And then that one. Cool. Okay, you guys. I think we did it for this session. And I appreciate you coming on the journey with me with these little golden books. And before we know it, we're gonna have we're gonna have five books made. So I'm gonna move over my sewing machine and either later on or tomorrow I can go ahead and start stamping these books. So anyway, thanks for coming along and we will just see you next time. Bye everyone.